yo, we got this breaking news that uh, it's coming up out of Houston, Texas, right? KPRC 2. One killed, at least 13 others injured when suspect opened fire on candlelight vigil in Baytown. Let's get the uh, details. Roll that clip. A story that is gaining national attention. This is a drive-by shooting that happened at a vigil in East Harris County. Yeah, we know one person is dead. At least 13 others are hurt. This violence happened last night on North Market Loop near Thompson Road. KPRC 2's Brittany Jeffers joins us live with the latest on the effort to find the shooter responsible. Good morning, Brittany. And good morning to you. As you said, a big focus this morning is trying to find this gunman who is still on the loose. As you mentioned, uh, the sheriff tells us that people were gathered for a vigil last night. We're talking a large group of people, about 50 or so. Now, the sheriff says that they had just released balloons in the air when that gunman started firing. Now, as I mentioned, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says that they believe that this was about 50 people who were out there for this celebration of life on North Market Loop near Tom. Thompson Road. Now, this was all for a recent murder victim. Now, the sheriff says that around 640, someone drove up in a dark colored sedan and fired multiple shots into the crowd, striking several people. Uh, several uh, individuals either drove themselves or somebody else transported them to an area hospital. It's an understanding that at least eight individuals sustained uh, various injuries. We've been told that all sustained some type of gunshot wound. Uh, of those, one was pronounced deceased at an area hospital. Another one has been taken by lifelight uh, in critical condition. Harris County Sheriff's Office says in all 14 people were injured. One of those victims, Daisha Allen, was pronounced deceased at Methodist Hospital in Baytown. The Sheriff's Office says three others were taken by life light in critical condition. Now, Harris County Sheriff's Office also is investigating this. I want you to take a look at this video. This is near 6700 Juarez Street. Investigators say that an abandoned vehicle was set on fire, and they believe this may be the suspected gunman's car. Investigators on the scene say that it is the same vehicle description. It matches the make and model of the suspected shooter's vehicle. Again, a dark colored sedan, and this is found about two miles from the scene. Now, the sheriff tells us that someone who was at that vigil estimates that there were about 20 gunshots fired at the crowd. At this point, they do not have a motive, but as, as you can imagine, this is very much an ongoing investigation. They're still trying to find that shooter. If you have any information, contact the Harris County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers. Reporting live this morning from Baytown and Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. And you know, that's sad, man, when you can't even go to a vigil like that. And you know, that's, you know, that's really a mass shooting too. You know, one person is dead, you know what I'm saying? And then you have 13 people that are wounded, you know what I mean? I mean, that is just, you know, I don't think anybody expect when they go to a, a vigil for a deceased person, I don't think anyone expects for, you know, a drive-by shooting to, you know, to, to occur. I mean, it just makes you wonder, man, what, look at the collapse of society. You know, the, I mean, there is no empathy. There is no remorse. People can't even get together and mourn without somebody, without some fool, some jerk coming through there and then just opening fire. And now 13 other people done got shot. I mean, it's a trip. The gun violence in America is off the chain. And you know what I'm tripping off of? I'm surprised somebody in Texas didn't return fire. Because Texas is a, is a uh, open carry state. Which means you don't need a permit or anything. You can open carry and you can conceal carry in Texas. So I'm surprised why nobody didn't return fire in self-defense. You know, and that's why I do support those gun laws like that. That way you can protect yourself from idiots like this that want to go and do a drive-by shooting and then want to get away scot-free. You know, you need to be able to protect yourself because these people are out there trying to kill you. And they killed somebody. Made that lady uh, rest in peace. And they injured 13 more. So, yeah, man, drop your comments down below, man. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to click on that notification bell, man. And yo, you know, if, uh, if you know anything about the, the killers, man, you know, uh, let the police know. Because, hey, man, we don't need killers in our neighborhood. 
We don't need nobody terrorizing our neighborhood, killing our family, our mothers, our brothers, our sisters, or none of that. You know? If you want to kill somebody, man, go join the army. Shalom.